Hey, um, Ed, sorry I shoot at the beach. Were you the two that were here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who were the two that were shot at? Uh, uh, my aunt and the kind of like, the red, the red excuse me, my aunt right. at the bullet Where do you live, sir? Huh? Where do you live? Well, actually, I don't live here. My cousin. That's all my right. grandpa's can house. I, all right, can I ask you for a... Just link up with JR. He'll point He'll point out what to uh, have eyes on. They, okay. they keep saying they have movement on a house in the 300 block. I'm, Edward, come on. I don't know why you keep throwing the pit. Everyone's worried about you, Edward. Stop throwing a tantrum. On July 5th, 2021, shortly after 11 a.m., officers were dispatched to respond to the 200 block of Noria because a man opened fire at news crew members and some bystanders. The news crew had been at the location to inspect damage to a home which burned down overnight. Here's an excerpt of one 911 call. There's a young man with two guns firing at, at, at reporters and just going crazy. Okay, how many gunshots did you hear? I heard uh, like five of them. He's got two, two pistols, hand pistols. Officers learned the gunman, identified as 28-year-old Eduardo Amesquita, had fled to a home in the 300 block of Noria. They, okay. they keep saying they have movement on a house in the 300 block. Someone inside the home called 911, saying Amesquita had assaulted everyone in the home, but they were all able to escape. Amesquita barricaded himself inside the home and officers called for SWAT and negotiators. Negotiators attempted to establish communication with Amesquita for nearly four hours with little success. Negotiators then utilized a taunting tactic to elicit a response from Amesquita, who had been minimally responsive to other tactics. The negotiators told Amesquita that his family was worried about him. At some point, Amesquita moved to a shed in the backyard of the home. Negotiators continued with their strategy in an effort to keep Amesquita's attention. Around the same time, SWAT officers made their way into the home with the goal of preventing Amesquita from getting back inside and containing him to the backyard. I don't know why you keep going to pit. Everyone's worried about you, Edward. Stop throwing a tantrum. State law prohibits us from showing the inside of an individual's home. When SWAT officers got to the back door of the home, they see Amesquita armed with a handgun. He's right there. Here he comes. He's got a gun. Man. Three officers outside of the house and two officers inside of the house opened fire on Amesquita. Those outside the home said they saw Amesquita point his firearm towards the house. Those inside the home stated they heard what sounded like a gunshot and opened fire. It's unclear who fired first. Here is another view of the gunfire from an officer who opened fire from the backyard of a home adjacent to the property. Everyone's worried about you. You're in the 
Gun, gun, gun. Gun, gun, gun. Gun is out, gun is out. He has hold of a gun.